Hello and welcome back to the Maker's Wardrobe and if you're new here, thank you for dropping in. Um, so today it's been a while since I've done a fabric haul and I have gotten some stuff that I accumulated and kind of wanted to share with you. Um, some of this stuff was bought on sale, some of it was bought um, with coupons. All of it came from Joann's. So we're going to start with this lovely jersey. This is actually a jersey that I picked up. And with me uh, wanting to make more uh, stretch knits and things like that, you know, I thought, hey, why not go ahead and invest in something that has a little bit more give. It's a little on the silky-ish end, more so um, on something that, that is like a little bit more, like let's say has a little more body to it, but it's really pretty, has all of these wonderful flowers, kind of reminds you of a, like almost like fall colors a little bit but saw this really liked it and picked it up and i don't have too many uh new patterns but i know with this i did pick up this pattern um it's the mccall's m7313 now i've never made a dress that had like a hidden uh elastic waist in it and i thought hey what an opportunity to like practice and see what that's like so i picked these two up um yeah thinking I, I'll go that route, or maybe not, you never know. <laughs> I might just actually do something else with it. So they also had um, a lot of the um, quilting, quick keepsake and quilts, cottons on sale. This was one of them that I picked up. Now, while this is a cotton, it was found of course in the quilting section. It's a really, really, really pretty print. Um, I'm actually going to use this for a dress. I thought this would make such a pretty summer dress. Um, and I, it, it's just happy. It makes it, this print makes me happy. <laughs> so I just thought I'd pick that up. Okay, more knit fabrics. This really nice mustard. And I do have a thing for yellow and shades of yellow. So I'm hoping this is coming across okay. It looks a little greenish on my end, but looking into the camera. But it is a mustard and they've got these really little like daisy or not necessarily daisy but little flower patterns on it. Another knit, a pretty nice stretch and give to this one as well. So I've got that one and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. It might be that same pattern, maybe something different. I have, this is also uh, from the quilt wall. I do have a piece of this in red and uh, saw the yellow. Of course, it's on sale. I figure, you know, why not? Really pretty, um, another really nice cotton piece with um, embroidered, now these are embroidered daisies, really cute. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed that piece. Okay, and these eyelets, now, the thing with these, it's I, I don't usually catch them when they're on sale, and um, I, I really like this. I remember um, this was something that was, you know, really fancy little dresses when I was coming up. Um, when I was a kid, my mom would make, but um, as an adult, I am actually thinking of making this as an underskirt, and I will show you what pattern I have in mind. So I picked up that one. I also picked up another one of those, um, and both of these are cotton. And this, I don't know if you can see this pattern, um, if it's showing up okay on camera, but it's really, really pretty as well. And I actually picked those up because I ran into these, you know, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with who Laura Ashley is. Um, uh, this was a designer back in the day and she made what I would call like little Perry, 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 like Little House in the Perry dresses and that kind of style. Really, um, I remember Princess Diana, there's a really famous picture of her um, wearing like this really cute flower skirt. And I, I, I don't know if I can get my hands on that picture, if I can find it, but it was actually, it was along this kind of thing and this, this style. And I figured that the fabric that I sh just showed you, this one, either one, would look really cute in this underpiece right here, because this is actually what she's wearing under here. And then that's the overskirt. And of course, you can wear them separate or together. And as far as it goes with that overskirt piece, I really liked, and I was able to pick up this one piece, 
also from Joann's. And I thought, huh, that'll probably make a really nice skirt. Um, very flowing, very comfortable, and it's pretty lightweight. And so are those pieces. Uh, so I figured, yeah, why not? Right? Okay, so that's that. And going back to this one, well, not so much this one, and this does come with this beautiful um, kind of camisole top as well. So all those pieces are in this pattern. Um, but also this one, and I thought this was just so cute. And I actually really liked Laura Ashley um, dresses back in the day. I, I, I never really I never owned one but I remember um when she when I was in New York working at uh South Street Seaport uh she there was a Laura Ashley shop out there and I remember going into one and really being fascinated by the clothes the clothing that was in there I thought it was really cute so that's that another piece of knit that I picked up and this one's just so pretty um, another knit, it has these like little vertical, and I don't know if you can see that very well, some like vertical lines going through it as well. And again, this is a lot lighter. It's not a very thick, I mean, it's a lot lighter. Um, you can really make something really cute for the summer months out of this. All right. And I do have, um, a, another batch of knits that I picked up. Uh, let me go grab those and not... Actually, they're not knits. They're linen fabrics, linen blends. Let me just go grab those and I will be right back. All right, so let's continue on. So I am gonna start with the patterns because um, the fabric that I have here actually, um, I more or less bought them to make things for work. And um, I picked up these patterns to pretty much go with them. So um, I picked up, and this is a Vogue pattern, um, V8333, and the reason why I actually picked this up was because of what it said over here. Apparently, this has a lot of instructions on how to make a tailored jacket, and I've never actually made a tailored jacket. Um, so I've had books and I've read articles by Claire Schiffer, Schiffer, I believe I'm saying her name right. I hope I am. Don't mean to butcher it. And this custom, um, the custom couture collection is something that um, I don't normally buy things from underneath this this particular brand. But you know what? Again, 2023, I decided to level up my skills, and um, I I just wanted to you really take a shot at it and see what you know how it comes out now I'm gonna tell you this might be one of those projects that I start and it takes a long time before I finish it but you know what it's at least trying right that counts I mean if you never try you never grow so I'll take a shot at it um it's a couture pen I said I know I said tailor but when I look at jackets and stuff like that I always think tailoring but um it does say couture in it so we'll see how that turns out all right, and I picked up, went ahead and picked up this Mimi G pattern. It's um, R11707. That's probably, um, it sounds like one, I might have pulled this off the table versus going into those drawers and looking through the books and stuff um, because it's just, just that number. But um, this is a Mimi G pattern. Of course, it's a jacket pattern and uh, this jacket and pants. Um, so it's women's uh, jacket, pants, and shorts pattern. It has label on it. So I got that one, and then I picked up these two dress patterns, and um, I could have probably just picked up a skirt, but I have so many skirt patterns, I figure, hey, I can always take the fabric that I have here and make one of these dresses, and this one is the New Look 6500, um, and then I bought another New Look pattern, easy. We like that. <laughs> Six, three, four, zero. And this is just another new look pattern. Pretty, it looks actually pretty simple. Should be easy to put together. Okay, now for the fabrics. Now, this I actually picked up because I do have another pattern 
um, I'm thinking about to make this out of for a blouse. This is one of those silky fabrics. Um, the thing with, and I don't know how many of you sew with this kind of material, but when I sew with things like this, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to take a swatch, try it out, make sure I have the right stitch on my machine because um, you, you just never know. Um, I try to sew things like this before where the seam looks like it was pulling like it like it wasn't it just wasn't sewn right and also being really careful of my iron settings as well with this one but I picked this up for the purpose of making a blouse this is that um, linen look cotton fabric blend <laughs> thing but um you know what you guys it feels good the price was right it was definitely a little bit more affordable than if I had bought a straight up linen um that would have definitely required me to use a coupon probably and it is I'm trying to figure out just how I'm trying to get one here we go it is uh, a little bit how light is this yeah you can actually can you see the table through there kind of see my yellow table through it so that's to tell you how light it is but you know what this in like a jacket skirt you can always line it and that would really um, take care of all that for you right and so here's another piece of course they had you know mustard yellow I would have picked that up same 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 fabric same kind of you know that linen cotton linen look cotton blend kind of thing going on um, that they had there and yes even another piece you know um, just pretty colors um, that they had and why not right get all the colors that you like this seems to be no it's just as light I can see my yellow table through it right just as light all right I was about to say it seems a little heavier this one I have to say um, while it was on the same level with those, it's a little bit more, um, it's not as thick in feel. The hand, the body to it is not as thick as the other two, but it still has, you know, a nice hand to it. Definitely um, worthy of making a jacket, skirt, pants, that kind of thing. Unlike the other two, I'm really wondering what this is going to be like, um, like laundering, and like you know how am I gonna iron this I don't know it just gives me wrinkly vibes like it'll get really wrinkled really fast and be like kind of hard hopefully not hopefully not. and finally I picked up this um, it almost feels like fennel it's not um, but I don't really know what this is to be honest I do know it's cotton I remember reading that on the bolts which to me I was like oh this is a cotton um, but really nice I got picked up quite a bit of it um, I thought this would make a really nice pair of pants and a jacket right I'm talking about all these jackets I'm telling you if I can get one done huh if I get a sleeve done that would be nice to be honest but we'll see we'll see what happens but anyway I hope you enjoyed this little mini um, haul that I have here of fabrics that I picked up and like I said I hadn't um, been on in a while and these are just some of the things that that you know I went out and accumulated I do think at this point though um, I've bought quite a bit of fabric um, and I do have a lot of things that I want to sew on my machine right now I showed you the Freya um, top last week and right now I'm actually working on the um, dress so I have that on my machine and just have to finish that up and I will be sharing that with you um, so I'm glad you stopped in I hope there was something that I showed you that inspired you in your own journey of sewing and um, hopefully um, you enjoyed the content please give this a thumbs up um, share it leave a comment and I will see you next time you guys take care thanks for dropping in bye